Actually, never mind, this adhesive does not really stick well to that material for some reason. Oh well. But it figure some way out, something out to maybe remember where each piece goes just in case. So that you don't forget. Okay, so once you got everything together, once you got all your lights assembled, and once you got once you're certain that this is incorrectly, do like triple checks even just to make sure. Um and like I kind of push everything into alignment if it's not very well aligned just like so power buttons clicks I wasn't clicking before because I power buttons working everything needs to be working Alright, scanner. You know, just uh, press up it against a little bit. Once you're certain that it's all good, it's time to go ahead and put it together. So make sure you match this. Here's the little gauge that tells you how much memory is left inside of it. Um. Alright, so that long piece there is the gauge. These here are the power lights. So, um, Western Digital logo goes on the bottom, which is where the power lights are. So, go ahead and just slide this back together. So what you want to do, you see those little, no no, hold on, you take a look here, these little notches there, go into these little channels there. So, let's just see if we can get those lined up, and then it should just slip right through. Alright, we made it. Alright, check everything. Uh huh. Pop, pop. Pop. Alright. Finally. Everything appears to still be lined up properly. Fire button is a little bit off. Sometimes. It clicks, sometimes it don't. You gotta kinda click it in the right place, but I mean, I rarely use that anyway, so. Make sure everything is nice and snug. And plug it in, make sure everything's working. So that is how you disassemble and reassemble a MyBook uh, Essential Edition external hard drive with the little, little, those things on it. Thanks for watching. Let's just. Give it a quick test here. Start by plugging in the power. See if we can still get power in. You may notice that with the power just plugged in, the light will be rather dim. I really don't know why that is, but it's just the way it is. Um, you might, it might be that way, it might not be that way. Let's see if we can 
plug it into the actual computer. Everything gets much brighter for some reason. I feel it work. Oh, there you go. Everything still works fine. If we go to my computer, um, let's wait for it to pick it up. I guess it can't pick it up yet or something. Well, the program found it. Refresh. 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 Huh. Interesting. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It read. It found it. It saw the little fake CD player thing, so it's in. It works fine. 